Hey, vegan cyclists, so let's break down stage eight where Chris Froome destroys everyone on the descent because there's a lot going on here and I kind of want to break that down. So the first big play that Sky made on this climb was to send off this dude, Sergio Anau, and that forces uh, Alejandro Valverde to chase, right? And then Sky kind of like laser beams all of his energy with their eyes because they're robots. And uh, so Alejandro Valverde makes this big, huge dig to chase him down, which was kind of stupid because they could have just let him go. He's not a factor in the overall, right? They just really need to worry on Chris Froome, but they didn't want him to win. Uh, so whatever. So after that big effort, everyone's suffering and Chris Froome just starts drilling them into the ground because he is amazing and he, uh, he he's going to really give them a test. This is the first test. Then you got Dan Martin looking all weird, going nowhere, and then pow, right in the face. Chris Froome hits this dude in the face. Bam! Like awesome, right? Super crazy because he's all up in his face. Uh, but dude, Chris Froome, you need to go to a boxing class because your technique is whack. Look at this. Open hand and finger in the mouth what are you fish hooking this guy that's a weird that's gross you know you got some stranger saliva up on your hand now okay but so here's the really important spot right here dude day one of cycling you should know that when you come across the top of a hill uh, or the top of a climb that's that's not where you stop you don't stop at the top you just keep going most people are going to know that that's actually where it gets super hard is right over the top chris Froome starts drilling it just like you're supposed to and then quintana what are you doing bro he's pulling off to like let other guys chase so you can see right here you've got all these guys no movistar at all here there's just everyone in this little group has no need to chase you can see it from a different angle Quintana, whatever reason, just deciding I don't think that I'm going to chase. And by the time he takes a drink of his bottled water, the dude's gone. And you can see right behind him as he swings off. Dude, those guys are not going to chase. You've got a team, a, a Sky team guy on your wheel. You've got Richie Port, who's down like two minutes already at this point. The whole thing is coming down to you, Quintana Movistar. Right? But Alejandro Valverde was too far back because of that huge effort that he had made. So now here it is this is the point of interest is that you would always say okay well that's 13 people versus one there's no way that that one is going to get away but it's not 13 versus one it's one versus one all of these dudes right here all of those guys they have no interest in chasing whatsoever because quintana is the favorite to win the tour the whole tour was designed for Quintana. These uh, climbs like this one, this stage was designed to make sure that Chris Froome didn't just blow everyone out of the water. There was a descent, there was more to the climb. But you can see right here, it is one verse one. It is Alejandro Valverde versus Chris Froome. It's not 13 verse one. And so that is what is gonna allow him to get a chance to actually make this effort work. So Chris Froome is now got a little bit of a gap, but on a descent, you know, if you've ever been on a descent, how a guy in front of you can be doing 500 watts and you're doing zero watts going the same you know, speed. So everyone behind Movistar is just getting a huge rest. So if they get close enough to Chris Froome, then someone may be able to make that jump or make that attack. So Chris Froome just starts like jackrabbing it here, just humping his, hot, uh, his top tube smashing now everyone gave him a lot of shit for this because i guess the science is saying that that's actually uh slower that the the buffering of the pedaling creates actually less aerodynamic advantage but that is if you're not able to put down a significant amount of power he's probably putting like 400 to 600 watts out in that position so there's definitely going to be advantage and team sky does nothing without knowing that it's going to make some kind of advantage so i'm pretty sure that it was the better way to go so he just is smoking down this hill but taking so many risks so i don't know if it was worth it because he could have lost the tour at any point you can see right here still uh, Alejandro Valverde of Movistar still in the front and maybe that's Richie Port or TJ Van Gardner just staring at him I mean all those guys have put all of their uh, energy on to Movistar like it's your job to chase him down you're the one that has to do it and they failed they failed to do it they failed to chase him down uh, and so Chris Froome is just motoring on to, to the win but again the the risk versus reward here was way too high he could have wrecked so easily and been out of the tour and all the millions of dollars that sky spent to get him here and to prepare him for this would have been all for naught 
his gap, I think, was maybe like 17 seconds or something like that. And then uh, with the the uh, the bonus, uh, he only got 20 some odd seconds. And again, here you see Chris uh, or Dan Martin and the other guys, they snag up the extra bonus seconds. But dude, all you guys got murked by the Froomey. Murked. But again, this was an amazing to watch. But it all came down to the fact that it wasn't 13 verse 1. It was 1 verse 1 because of how awesome Sky set up their uh their tactics going into that descent and how movie star basically just ruined it because Quintana is a little baby and thinks he doesn't have to do any work so you know risk versus reward i don't think they should have done it he should have waited for a bigger climb because he could have lost the tour anyway awesome hope you guys enjoyed this vegan cyclist yeah <laughs>